know some Sundays when the service lasts longer, we're kind of running out of things to do. But uh, my God, today you could have had it for a half hour longer and we would have still had fun. <laughs> so um, I'll make it short though. I know you want to get out of here. And there's a Karen committee meeting. I just found out this morning that I'm in charge of it. So if you are a Karen committee member or would like to be on the Karen committee, there will be a Karen committee and it will be early, like a quarter to one, because I wasn't planning on staying here that long. Anyways. Um, so when I heard spirituality of Star Wars, I thought, oh my God, the kids are going to love it. So we started out with a little video in which Yoda explains faith. It was pretty cool. And um, <clears throat> there is such a thing called Jediism. I did not know that either. This was a, so that, that also led to mindfulness. And... Um, so we found, I found these really cool mindfulness activities. They're talking about mindfulness in schools a lot. Micah and Bella both said that they have teachers implementing it. It's mostly the female teachers, only the female. Mostly. mostly the female teachers who are implementing it, but um, we were always ahead of the game. <laughs> anyway, so um, <laughs> some of the, um, so the mindfulness games we played were about focus and how if you don't have focus, things don't go the way you want. So first we played Jenga, which is a very complicated game to play. And they had a ball because <clears throat> while two people were battling with each other in Jenga, the rest of them were allowed to cause some kind of ruckus and distract them until the tower fell. <laughs> and then we changed partners and did the same thing again. And they probably played that game till the end of the class period and would have never lost interest. But then we also did some breathing exercises. A square breath is when you breathe in, count in your head till four and draw a line up and then breathe out, count to four while you're doing it and you would draw a square in the process. But the most fun one was the Darth Vader breathing. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know how Darth Vader breathes, let's, let's hear it. <sighs> And that's a really good one to get rid of your anger because every time you go, you can just think of punching somebody. And next thing you know, I'm all good. And you didn't really hurt anybody in the process. Isn't that cool? And then we went outside and they had to, uh, they each got a spoon with, um, that was filled to the brim with water and then they had to race against each other to reach their goal, which they didn't notice. I kept putting it further back and further back and further back. But anyways... Um, all of them were mindful enough to realize that running wouldn't do them any good. And every single one of them, even our littlest one, where's he at? Where's uh, Paxton? Even Paxton still had water left by the time they reached their goal because they were all mindful enough to realize we can't do this too fast. Slower is better. Too. And then we played Simon Says, and that's when you disrupt. Oh, we also made, <laughs> we talked about the hand, Hamza, which I've been carrying around. And um, it actually, each one of the fingers is related to one of your chakras. I know there's only five hands and eight chakras, but three of them were left out. And then this evil eye here is not evil. It's just, it's keeping negative energy away from you. And it can be held up or down. Either way, it's a good symbol, but a different meaning. So they all made their own shown. They all made their own. Where's yours? Where's your beautiful master? Oh, you forgot yours. Well, they all made their own. And that's it. Anyways, we had fun. Thank you. <laughs>